Welcome back to the show. Of course, Valentine's Day is uh, quickly approaching, and it's a nice time of the year to uh, not only do something lovely for your partner, but really assess where your relationship is and figure out how you can be better in all aspects. And Susan Semenu joining us now, love coach and matchmaker. How are you? I'm very well. Good. Nice to see you again. Good. Uh, how busy do you get this time of year? I mean, does it sort of... Do people get a little more anxious, interested? Well, the holidays are one busy time of the year, and then the new year, new you, new resolutions, and yes, Valentine's Day. There's a lot of pressure <laughs> for singles and couples on Valentine's Day. Well, and we're going to focus uh, predominantly on people uh, in a long-term relationship yeah. because there's always interesting logistics that come up uh, the longer you're with someone. Uh, and the first one we want to talk about is is just keeping it fresh, I guess, a little bit uh, when you're in a long-term relationship. Well. What I always like to say is that relationships take effort, as you know. What? <laughs> yeah, no <laughs> kidding. And the funny thing that I was talking with someone the other day, um, and they were saying, and this I'm going to use this because I thought it was so insightful. In the beginning of a relationship, you put a lot, you deposit a lot into your relationship. Yeah. And as you've been together over time, things can get sale, you take things for granted, and you withdraw a little bit more, and you're not as active. So yes. You're nodding, and I agree with you. Yeah. Relationships take work to keep them fresh, and things get boring, and life happens, and then kids happen or not. Yeah. You take the other person for granted, and you forget a lot of the good stuff. Well, and it does sometimes just take that little tweak where you're reminding someone, you know, yeah. sit back and think about this. Think about what you love about this person. And yeah. uh, you have some great suggestions, uh, things like little gifts and, and little surprises and, and just freshness, I guess. Uh, what do you mean by... Um, I think you were like using Groupon as an example of, of a way to keep it fresh. Well, one of the great things to do is to go away for a sexy weekend somewhere. And there could be deals somewhere. A lot of people use financial constraints as an excuse. So see what yeah. kind of deals are out there. People get into ruts. with. I know I do. I yeah. know my wife and I both do, actually. Yeah. Like you get into ruts with even things like where you go out for dinner. Uh, you can yeah. really get into that, you know, well, let's just go where we always you go. You have to do new. So in the beginning of a relationship too, everything is so exciting, it's new, it's fresh, you're on you know, best behavior, you do get stuck in a routine and studies have shown if you do new things, it kind of can bring you back to the exciting times in the beginning. So I think it's important to break out of your comfort zone and you know, do a new restaurant, go for a new walk, go to a new city, do something that possibly tango lessons if you haven't done that tango. before, <laughs> just something fun, you know, go, to, I don't know, a different anything, just yeah. something well, that's out of your comfort Because zone. it does tweak different conversations yeah. as well, or at least reminds you of, of all that stuff. Uh, what about, uh, you know, actually scheduling date nights and, and making sure that that's part of, because when you get busy with work, and once again, if you have children, mm -hmm. uh, the thing that tends to get sacrificed is that time together sometimes. So how important is that? Well, I think you have to, you have to make time. So make a plan whether it's something that's realistic too because everyone gets caught up in life and stuff so whether it's once a month that works for you once every two weeks once a quarter just start somewhere and it's just making time for your partner yeah and just making it you know schedule it in your calendar well and uh i i think people get a perception sometimes that uh and maybe it's externalized or you look at other relationships and you get this idea of what the perfect relationship is. Uh, and there is no such thing, really, is there? I mean, that's one of those yeah. fallacies that people create for themselves, that every day should be sunshine and rainbows and we should never argue. I laugh argue. about that all the time. I'm yeah. like, there's no such thing. And, you know, as long as you learn to... I think communication, that's a segue into communication. Yeah. I think we're a very dismissive society today and I think we have this ideal that's not necessarily real. Things take time, and a relationship is not an upward trajectory of chocolates and right. champagne yeah. and honey. I love it. You it's have so to wonderful. constantly up it. <laughs> it's up and down, and one of the key things that I talk about too is communication. Yeah. So you have to maintain intimacy, and we can talk about the sexual component after, because that's always a good barometer for what's going on in your relationship, and that takes work too. Yeah. Um, but just in terms of the communication, you need to sit down and have a conversation with that person to find out what's going on with their life. And make things safe. I always say you need to learn to fight fairly as well. I, this is a brilliant idea because my wife and I have talked about this. I mean, you really do have to learn uh, how to have an argument yes. without it being really hurtful. And that's a really, that's a, that's a skill. I mean, it's something it that you really have to think about and, and be mindful of. Well, you have to shut up and listen. So you have to let the other person speak without judging, which can be <laughs> difficult. <laughs> and, <laughs> and not jumping in. And... 
it can be difficult not to hit below the belt yeah. too. Sometimes women can be very dramatic and of course yeah. I'm never guilty as charged. An argument starts here yeah. and and then all of a sudden all these things from past arguments can come yeah. into it really And that's a great well. point. You need to focus on the moment. Don't bring up stuff from 10 years ago that you haven't resolved because quite <laughs> frankly you should have talked about that before. And that's yeah. the point why you need to learn to fight fairly. Yeah. So that communication is ongoing. It's settled and it's done and you can move yeah. on to the and next And when you challenge. have date night too, I think date night should be fun and it should be sexy and it should be flirty. In the beginning, we dress to impress for our partners. That goes for the men too, like the funky outfits. Yeah. Look your best. Yeah. You know, make sure you're groomed well. You smell nice. <laughs> <laughs> Check all the hair. And women should wear a flirty, nice dress that makes them feel fantastic. If you've got the lingerie girls coming out at yeah. some point, we talked about wearing lingerie not only for your partner but when you wear it as a woman makes yeah. you feel kind confident, of confident sexy zonzi, all zonzi. Zonzi. yeah it ups your uh, well this is a nice segue into the boudoir as yes. well uh, and into the bedroom for people because that is another area when we're being really realistic as you go through your life together yeah. uh, it's a place where you can fall into routine and uh, and yeah. it can get a little uh, predictable and stale, yeah. I guess. How do you avoid stuff like that? What are some little tricks you can do? Well, I think... <laughs> Without surprising <laughs> your partner. <laughs> Not all of a sudden, I'll show You're you something. You're talking about <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, and, and, yeah, I talk about this with my girlfriends a lot, too. And predictability does set in. And also what happens, too, is sometimes, in, instead of just the routine thing, sometimes it doesn't happen. So yeah. if that's the case and you're experiencing a rut where there's not a frequency, I always recommend going to see a counselor before it gets really past a certain point. Yeah. It's so common. Because the emotions get into it and it just yeah. turns into and then it just you, you know, the more you do it, the more you kind of want to do it. So, But in terms of uh, predictability and trying to break out of that, whatever makes you feel comfortable, and it's okay to laugh, and it's okay to not be perfect trying something new. Yeah. I'm a big advocate for going into a sex shop and seeing what's there that makes you feel comfortable. They're really professional. There's some good yeah. ones in the city. You know, rent a movie that's nice, that's not necessarily hardcore, but that's kind of, and you can laugh when you watch it, it's kind of funny. Yeah, well, exactly, and that's, that sense of humor and, and keeping the stakes low. Uh, because I think when people build up that expectation and maybe it doesn't work out or something's not comfortable for somebody, then uh, you know you don't want that to be hurtful for anybody, right? You want you it have to be to, fun. Yeah, and don't talk about it in the bedroom if it's kind of awkward. But you have to remember it's okay to laugh. Human beings are not perfect by nature. And if something yeah. you try and it doesn't work out, that's totally fine. So just as long as you try something new. And then another thing I think is a good idea too is leave some sexy notes yeah. for your spouse. I'm, I know guys love this yeah you know honey I'm thinking yeah of we're you. a sucker for <laughs> yeah. stuff like that absolutely. and build up the anticipation I can't wait to see you on Friday night yeah. and kind of do a tease every single day and vice versa foreplay can start in the morning These yeah are great advice great tips thank you so much you're as always. very welcome it's really nice to have you in today uh, so think about Valentine's Day not just as the day but throughout the year as well and it doesn't have to be the greatest day ever but uh, if you work on it it will work out well for you thank you so much we're going to take a break